Hi guys, welcome to this session on LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how you can use count functions. So we're going to look at the count function, count a function, count if function, and count ifs functions. So first of all, the count function. When you want to count a list of numbers, you can just go equals count, open the bracket and select the list. Close the bracket, click the tick, and it counts the numbers. Now, if I pull it across to this list, it'll count the numbers there as well, uh, even though there's two gaps. So if you wanted to compare, say, purchase orders and invoices, you've got seven purchase orders, but only five invoice numbers. So this count function will work if there are numbers there and it will also tell you if there's gaps now count a if i do the count a function so let's just um, pull this one across so i've pulled the count function across expecting it to count this list of people and it's coming back with zero because you can't count text with the count function it's for counting numbers or money um just get rid of those zeros what you have to do to count text is use the count a function with an a after it same same procedure that should be equals not plus count a and then you select the list close the bracket and click the tick and then it does work now this works if i put a number in there it still works it still says seven and if i delete that it will say six so it's counting if there's any information in there so it's a bit more flexible than the count function because it counts basically if there's anything in the cell now the count if function is slightly different i want to count things by category so i've got three departments sales admin and finance and i've got a little table up here sales admin and finance now i'll do the first one and then i want to name this department range i'll name it depth just because it makes it easier i don't have to worry about locking cells and things like that so here we go, equals count if, open the bracket. So there's the range. Now, comma, what's the criteria? The criteria is going to be that, I2. I could type sales in quotes, but I've just typed I2. And then I'm closing the bracket. Click the tick, I get three. There are three sales, one, two, three. That's great. Now I want to pull that across, but when I do that, because I haven't dollar signed or locked these cells, it's just coming up with rubbish because the the range is moving across to column H and column I, H, I. So we don't want to do that. So we could dollar sign them, put dollar signs on there. I use the F4 key there and then that would lock that range. And then when I pull that across, it does work because g3 to g9 is the range i want to look at however i i want to do it slightly different again stop messing about with this so let's delete them i want to name this range department so i'm highlighting this range i'm going to the name box and i'm calling it depth press and enter so now i'm changing the reference from the dollar signed reference to depth which is absolute because I've got two commas there, have I? Yeah, it's absolute because you've named it. So I don't need to doll sign it now. So I can just pull that across and I get the same answer. They're both looking at the column depth, short for department. So that's count if. So categorizing something and counting it. The last one, count ifs, is where you've got multiple options. I want to know. How many assistants are in finance, for example? How many assistants are in finance? So this is the count ifs. So I'll go equals count ifs with an S, open the brackets. So my first range is um, this. So if this comma equals that, that's the first range, comma, and this list comma 
is equal to finance. That's the criteria I want. Then I can close my bracket and click the tick. So there are two people that are assistants in finance. These two here. There you go. And then if you change any of these um, to a different... So if I put um, manager there, and you could create a list there, so it's easier to do that. So I've got manager, and then um, I could change that to sales. How many managers are in sales? This is one manager in sales. If I put sales rep, there are none, because that should have gone in there. So sales rep in sales, there are three sales reps, one, two, three, and they're all in sales. So that's count ifs. So there's a quick look at different count functions. So hopefully that was of use to you. Thank you for your time, and I'll see you on the next one.